What's up guys? So thank you for coming to watch another video of the Dugster Bob Complete Bike Tournament. If you guys are brand new here, pause the video and go and check out the, the rules video that I did. It's in the description, but I need to go over a bunch of things that, that help this whole thing make sense. Like what do the scores mean? How do I get the scores? How does it work? So go watch that, check it out real quick. For those of you guys who know what's going on, let's get right into the video. So the Sunday X and the Sabrosa led them. Let me tell you a story about both of these bikes. The Sunday X beat the Colt Devotion and then it went on to beat the We The People Reason and now it is here. The Sabrosa led them, beat the Sabrosa Malum and then it went on to beat the Kink Cloud and now it's here. So these are the final two bikes in the five to $600 price range. I, I was looking at it, I'm like, dang, which bike am I gonna pick? I haven't even decided yet. And I'm having a really hard time because I love both of these bikes for different reasons. And uh, it, this is tough, this is tough. So the Letum's a $529 bike. The X is a $529 bike, but there's also a $509 option. There's two different variations with the Sunday X. One is the Julian Ortega version, and one is the Eric Elstrand version. Each version has a different color associated with it and a free coaster or a cassette, two-piece bars or four-piece bars. So you guys need to check out the in-depth review on that bike if you're curious to learn more, or the in-depth review on the Letum if you're curious to learn more about that. But let's go in and talk about a few things. But before we go and talk about the important info on each of these bikes, I need you to go down in the comments and let me know which bike you think is gonna win. I hope, I hope you're right. I hope you pick the right bike and I uh, hope you can consider yourself a winner with this bike. It's really exciting because this is the last one. One thing I want you guys to do is if there's any bikes in this price range that didn't get to go against these two, uh, let me know in the comments if you wanna see a mashup because I would love to do that and make sure we get good reviews on all the different bikes within this price range. Sabrosa let them. Four pegs, four hub guards, the sprocket has a bash guard, it's got a free coaster, it's full Kamali frame forks and bars, it's got double wall rims, but it weighs a very hefty 29.1 pounds. I'm trying to think of something that weighs like 30 pounds and I can't even think of anything. The Sunday X has zero pegs, zero hub guards, it's full Kamali, it's got a single wall rim. In the front, it weighs 27.5 pounds, which is almost two pounds lighter than the Sabrosa Letum, and it's got a free coaster option. So they're, they're pretty similar in terms of quality and in terms of the street score, but they are not the same bike. And let's dive right into the scores. So the style score, I'm looking at does this bike have different options? Do, do, does it look good? Are the colors nice? Does it visually look appealing? And is it customizable? Both of these bikes have two different colors associated with it. The X is by variation. The Sabrosa Letum just has a blue and a black color that you can choose from. The X is a red or a raw. They look very nice, but I do think the Sunday X looks just a little bit better and that's just personal preference. You might disagree with that if you do roast me in the comments, but, um, but yeah, they're fully customizable and they look pretty good. In the street section, the Letum got a way higher score than the Sunday X, and this is for a few reasons. Personally, the Letum is just built way more for street riding, even though that's what the X is kind of designed around. The Letum comes with the pegs, the hub guards, the sprocket with a bash guard, the free coaster. Literally, if you guys, literally the Letum is perfect for street right out of the box. You don't need to make any modifications. You don't need to make any upgrades. It has what you need to do for real street riding, like grinding on both sides, crooked grinds, sprocket stalls, all that stuff. The Sunday X has a free coaster option, but that's really all it has going for it. Aside from the free coaster option and the quality, the quality of the bike is strong enough to withstand big drops and big gaps, but it, it this, 
is way better for street right out of the box, especially for the price. You cannot go wrong with the Letum, and that's why it scored significantly higher. Now in the park section, the Sunday X is a little bit more responsive. Both of these bikes have holes drilled for gyro tabs, so you could put a gyro on it and, and ride park. However, don't. Don't get these bikes for park. I said that all the way throughout the tournament, and neither of these bikes are for park. However, if you did want a bike that can do just a little bit of park, I know I said however a lot, but if you want a bike that can do a little bit of park, the uh, Sunday X is going to be a little bit better, but don't get it just for that. If you're a park rider, the We The People Versus, the, the Fit Park, the Sunday um, Forecaster Park, but there's a lot of different options that you could get for park specificity. Neither of these bikes are it. In the dirt section, the Letum scored just a little bit higher. But again, just like I said for park, neither of these bikes are good for dirt and I would not recommend it. These are for people considering riding park and maybe dabbling in dirt. But I would stay, like, like you have a pump track, right? You could take these bikes on the pump track for sure. Keep in mind the free coasters are gonna kill you on dirt. You know, you need to have that instant engagement. You don't want to be pedaling as hard as you can and hitting that that slack and flipping over. You don't want that to happen. So stay away from park, stay away from dirt if, if that's your main thing. Like I said, if you want to dabble in it, that's okay. But I still, I don't know. I don't like it for either of these. In the quality section, the Sunday X did not do as well as the Sabrosa Letum. And this is because of this. Oops. The, I don't know why Sunday decided to put out this bike for $530 uh, dollars with a single wall front rim. This like, if you guys know about the Reason video, the We The People Reason has a single wall front rim and it's a $600 bike, which is just absolutely crazy. So for a $530 bike, it's a little more acceptable, but that's why the Letum did score five points higher on the quality section. The similarities of these bikes are full chromoly, frame, forks, and bars, and uh, then the difference is the rims, and it's kind of disappointing to me. Now the Dugster Bob score is calculated by adding all of these up, and the Letum got a 123, the X only got a 99, it didn't even break that 200 barrier, or that 100 barrier. The score is out of 200, that's the most possible you can get, but it's essentially it's impossible to get a full 200 the way that I have it designed. However, the Letum did significantly better than the X because of the little bit better quality and the lot better street ability, if that's even a word. <laughs> so the Sunday X is gonna be for someone who can spend this amount of monies on a bike. They love street riding and they wanna focus on street riding, but they're not sure if the cassette is right or the free coaster is right. You can choose between those two options and then get the one that sounds best to you and see if it works. Uh, it's also gonna be for someone who's riding at a mid-level, but not too crazy because you'll, you're gonna bend that front rim if you're too crazy. And yeah, you like to ride street, but you're gonna have to buy pegs afterwards. So you need to have a little bit extra money than what you're planning to spend. Now the Sabrosa Letum is the only bike for this price that you can get with four pegs, four hub guards, free coaster, bash guard, all that stuff. This bike is ready for street right out of the box. If you are an inspiring, aspiring, not inspiring, street rider, and you just wanna focus on that, you wanna pull the bike out of the box and get going right away, this is the bike for you. It can withstand a mid to almost high level riding because everything on it is strong quality. And it's gonna be a good bike for someone who is already riding a little bit of street and just wants a bike that can help them take it to the next level. Now, the final question. Let's say I have $600. Which bike am I gonna buy and which bike is gonna be sitting on the shelves unpurchased? Like I said, this is a really hard one for me and I had to think about it a lot, but I'm gonna go with the Sabrosa Letum. The reason for that is for what you're getting for your $530, you're getting a lot more and the double wall rim. That's that's almost the deal breaker there for me. If this one had a double wall rim, I would go with this one hands down because I do love the fact that there's two different variations. Uh, I think options are so important in BMX and being able to choose different things, but 
For the same price, I'm gonna go with the bike with double wall rims that comes with a lot of extra pegs. Guys, think about this. If you wanted to get four pegs, four hub guards, and a sprocket with a bash guard, you're gonna to have to spend another at least $120 uh, to get good quality pegs, hub guards, sprocket. And, uh, and they're the same price, so you can save yourself that money by going with the Letum. And in the simulation, that's what it is, and this is the perfect bike for, for me with my $600. That's the one I'm gonna pick, and that is our winner. That's our winner. Oh, I don't have my phone, I'd hit my air horn. But that's gonna be our winner for the five to $600 price range. Congrats, Sabrosa. Uh, congrats, Letum. Congrats, all of you who locked in that comment with the Sabrosa Letum and said that's your choice. You were right. The Sabrosa Letum is gonna be winning. The Sunday X is gonna be the loser. So if you just ended up on this video by mistake and you missed out on the Sunday X going against the Cult Devotion and the We The People Reason, or you missed out on the Sabrosa Letum going against the Sabrosa Malum or the Kink Cloud, you need to go watch the full length tournament video. I run through every single video. It's all compiled into one and you can just get some popcorn, chill, watch that whole long video and, and watch them battle it out. It's really informative and you get to see a lot of different comparisons. I already told you if you liked either of these bikes to check out the full in-depth video reviews that I've done. They're gonna help you learn a lot more because like I said, they just go way more in depth than I did here. And I hope that I see you on the live this weekend. Every weekend I go live and talk about BMX for about an hour, answer all of your BMX questions, and it's so much fun. So I hope you're gonna be a part of the community and come hang out there. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Peace.